Hey there guys, welcome again to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you my vlogging setup, yung mga equipment na ginagamit ko to make my lesson videos. So if you are an educator and gusto mo ding mag-share ng knowledge or skills sa mundo ng YouTube, or you want to make your own lesson videos to supplement your modular and online classes, then you've come to the right place. So I am Kevin Rick, and I'm going to show you the needed materials, what to do, and how to do it. Okay, so let's start with the essentials. Of course, importante naman, ito, hindi ito mawawala. Ito yung pinaka-importante. You should have a laptop or a desktop with a working microphone. You should be working microphone kasi magre-record tayo. Okay, so sa mga naunang videos ko, actually, yung ginagawa ko is pinaprepare ko yung PowerPoint slides ko and then iseset ko siya sa slideshow mode. And then, I'm going to record the screen habang inanarate ko or i-discuss ko yung lesson. My laptop is running in a Windows 10 operating system. Sa Windows 10 kasi, meron siyang pre-installed na screen recorder. Yun yung game recorder. So actually, kung naka-project na yung PowerPoint mo, press mo lang yung Windows Alt R, magre-record na po siya. So, we're now ready to teach. Okay, so ganon. But if your laptop is... Windows 8 or Windows 7, pwede kang mag-install ng third-party software na pwedeng mag-screen record. I am recommending you OBS Studio. Yun ang ginagamit ko in shooting my lesson videos. Sa OBS Studio kasi, I can record the screen at the same time nire-record ang sarili ko habang ako nag-discuss. Okay? So I do have a tutorial video on how you can make lesson videos using OBS Studio. So I'll put the link in the description box below. So please check that out. The next na pinaka-essential para sa akin as a math teacher, no? So this is what you call a pen tablet. This is one by Wacom. So I actually had this when I was unemployed kasi yeah, I want to learn something while doing nothing. So no, unemployed ako, natuto akong mag-digital art. Pero hanggang line art lang ako, hindi ko alam mag-kulay. I don't know, I just don't know how to work with colors. So hanggang sa line arts lang ako. And then there was this time na nagpre-prepare ako ng PowerPoint slide ko for a lesson. And then, na-board ako, sinaksak ko yung pen, tablet, sa laptop. Accidentally, na-swipe ko yung stylus dito sa surface ng tablet. Tapos nakita ko, may nag-appear sa PowerPoint slide. And then, I discovered na pwede pala, pwede palang gamitin to to write sa PowerPoint slide. So, it is really a wonderful accidental discovery kasi pwede din siya sa Microsoft Word. Like, if I am preparing worksheets and test papers tapos maraming kailangang ilagay na illustrations like geometric figures, tapos sa geometric figures pa na yun, ililabel mo pa yung angle measures, lengths ng segments, at saka kung ano-ano pa. So, instead of inserting a lot of shapes and text box, Ito na lang, i-drawing ko na lang yung illustration using this one. So, sa mga videos po, kung may nakikita kayong sulat-sulat, actually, ito po yung ginagamit ko doon. And this costs around 2,000 pesos. Medyo mahal siya. But, I tell you, it's worth it. Especially sa mga math teachers dyan and math majors. Once again, this is a graphic pen tablet. It's one by Wacom. And, tip pala sa pagbili ng ganito, no? Wacom is a quality brand. Maraming, maraming digital artists ang gumagamit ng brand na to. And I think na ito yung pinakamura sa lineup ng brand. Pinakamura po nila yung 2000 na yon. Pero meron naman yung mga mas murang brands. Pero yun nga guys, mas maganda na bumili ka ng quality na pwede mong gamitin ng 10 taon kesa yung bumili ka ng mura pero cheap din naman yung quality, di ba? So yes guys, I recommend this brand, Wacom. So, if you're planning to buy yourself one, yeah, this one. Maganda din kasi dito, yung stylus niya, hindi kailangan ng battery para gumana. So, yeah. This is a good one. Medyo mahirap lang to sa una kasi dito ka nagsusulat, tapos yung sulat is nag appear sa screen ng laptop. Medyo mahirap. So, kailan mong i-practice yung coordination ng Hand and eye. Eye-hand coordination. Okay. So, next one is this one, Paul. It is an external microphone. It's called Boya. And this is the Boya BYMM1. 
Universal cardioid microphone. I don't know how to read that one. Can you read that one? Cardioid, whatever. Okay, so may mga built-in microphones na yung mga laptop natin. Pero for me, gusto ko lang naman na i-upgrade yung audio quality ng mga videos ko. So, kaya ko binili ito. Okay? Ito kasi, um, mas clear yung pick-up niya ng audio. Mas binabawasan niya yung background noise. Maganda talaga yung audio quality. So, yeah. Boya. Yeah. Saksak mo lang siya sa computer and... Ah, ganito pala guys. Before I forgot, um, nung una, hindi ko alam. Kasi parang sinapapansin ko sa mga naunang videos ko, bakit same din lang naman yung quality ng audio nung hindi ko ito ginagamit tsaka nung ginagamit ko na. Yun pala, hindi siya gumagana. Hindi porket sinaksak mo na siya, eh gagana na siya. You have to set it sa sound settings as your um, audio input device. Okay, so... Kung isasaksak mo siya at gagamitin mo siya, you have to go to sound settings and you have to set it as your audio input device. By the way, this microphone costs around 800 pesos and above. Pero may nakita ako sa Lazada na 600 plus. Okay, yan. Boya BYMM1. And actually, sa pagsushoot ko ng video na ito, I'm using another microphone. Yung microphone na to, nakasaksak po sa cellphone ko while... Uh, filming this uh, video. So, yung ginagamit ko po na microphone is ito po. It's another microphone by Boya. It's BYM1 Pro. It's a lapel. Yung, yung parang ginagamit niya sa PBB. <laughs> okay, so, ba? Maganda yung quality ng audio. Ayan. So, actually, in my recent videos, ito yung ginagamit kong microphone. Okay, so what's next? Yun lang naman guys. Ah, yeah. Isa pa pala sa mga kailangan nyo is a ring light. For me kasi, nagsushoot ako sa gabi. Kasi I cannot shoot at daytime. Sabi ko nga, I'm very busy. May tindahan kami dyan sa taas. Tapos may construction pa dyan. I cannot film at daytime. So, pag gabi kasi, medyo um, cool lang yung lighting. Hindi enough yung lighting na nanggagaling dyan sa ceiling. And speaking of ring light, kailangan ng ring light para maging even din yung lighting ng background ko. Because I'm using green screen. And speaking of green screen, bakit nga ba green ang background ko? So, kung titingnan niyo po yung mga videos ko, yung mga recent videos ko po, yung background ko is yung PowerPoint slide ko mismo. So, yung effect po na yun is kagagawan nito, ng cloth na to. So, yes, basta search nyo lang si green screen or chroma key. Parang this one, it works like an invisible cloak. So, parang ganito. Okay. So, nag-black na siya or grayish, ewan ko, basta nag-black na siya, meaning no, naging transparent na siya. So, I can add another layer of background, parang pwedeng mapalitan na yung background, hindi na yung green, kasi naging transparent na tong green. Okay, so, so pinabili ko lang to, this is 2 yards, and I think it's 80 pesos, 40 pesos per yard ata yan. Ayan guys. So, yeah, kailangan maging even yung lighting sa background para malinis yung pagka-green screen niya. Okay. Um, nung nag start pa lang ako, nung nag start pa lang ako sa pag-green screen, actually yung gamit ko is yung webcam. Pero hindi ganun kaganda yung quality ng webcam. Medyo hindi malinis yung pagka-green screen. Kaya medyo may mga itim-itim sa video. Ang dumi-dumi. So, nag-search ako, ano ba yung pwedeng remedy noon? So, sa mga na-search ko, sabi, um, kailangan bumili ng external webcam. And, Dito kasi sa amin, dito sa province, walang pagbibilhan noon. So, I discovered naman na pwede palang iset si phone as a webcam. So, i-coconnect ko yung phone ko at saka yung laptop ko in the same Wi-Fi network. Tapos, merong app sa phone eh. It's called DroidCam. Basta, may ipro-provide si DroidCam app na instructions na kailan mong i-input sa browser. Tapos, yun. Pwede mong magamit si phone as you know, a webcam. So, na amis din ako nun. <laughs> Kasi pwede pala, pwede mong gamitin si phone as a webcam. And by the way, my phone is a mid-range phone. <laughs> so, yung mga mid-range phone naman, magkaganda na yung mga kuha niya ng video and photo, ba? So, yes. So, actually, yung ginagamit ko to shoot this video, it's my cell phone. I'm not using a camera. But sometimes, I use camera. <laughs> okay, so, review tayo, guys. Of course, laptop, pen tablet for writing, Microphone for audio quality. This one for just, you know, aesthetics. Tar. So, advice ko lang guys. 
start with what you have. Kung wala ka pang budget for this, pwede namang laptop lang yung gamitin mo. Meron ng, meron ng webcam si laptop. Meron na rin siyang built-in microphone. I-master mo muna kung paano ka mag-prepare ng slides, mag-add ng animations, you know, mag-screen record and everything. Yun. So, I think we're done. Thank you for watching. And I hope nakakuha kayo ng idea on paano kayo makakagawa ng own yun na videos. Kung own yun kasi mas nakaka-relate si student. You know, kung identical siya sa lesson na binigay mo sa module, mas makaka-relate sila. So, actually guys, this pandemic is a blessing in disguise for me kasi mas na-push ko yung creativity ko in teaching. Na-discover ko kung paano gawin yung mga bagay-bagay na mga to na pinapangarap ko lang talaga and now, ginagawa ko na. So, yun guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe down below kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe. So, see you guys in the next video.